Welcome to Classic Value Investors and Microcap Explosions. This is Mariusz Skonieczny. Yesterday I started a new video series called Why Is This a Great Business video series where I talked about first company Copart, just talking about why it was a great business. Today I'm starting another video series that will be called, called How Did Stupidity Work Out? So today I'm talking about a company GoPro and if you are not familiar with this company it was really hot in 2014 and what it is it's a camera that people used to or people still use to record themselves so for example there was a lot of videos such as this where um, you know people were uh, doing these action things recording themselves or something like this um, on a on a bike and uh, they they mounted the camera uh, e either they held it on a stick or they mounted it on on their head or something like that and it was you know it was uh, hugely popular and you know just like with everything else um, people wanted the piece of the action and the the company IPO'd uh, I think it was like 2014 at uh, 24 dollars per share okay so this is the stock price it IPO'd here and then immediately it just shut up it was going to you know it was on its way uh, to to a hundred dollars and at that point I think the market cap of of this company was like 11 billion dollars okay and now if you look at the IPO numbers and uh, this was the revenue and then uh, so so th this was the um, IPO filing so the revenues in 2010 were uh, 60 64 million then they shut up to 234 million then they doubled again in 2012 to half a billion and then in 2013 uh, they were at you know like a billion dollars so you know everybody was freaking exciting about this growth uh, it was just you know going to continue to go high and you know i mean it doesn't sound any uh, anything different from some of the nonsense that you hear today so let's let's hear about what some of the experts at that time were saying about gopro what I like about this company, however, is the growth. And we just heard recently from the company about that growth. We also heard about, <clears throat> excuse me, their content and some of the growth that they've got in the content, the minutes watched and all the rest of it. I think this is still a real story that's out there, Scott. I'm not scared off by this secondary, and I'm not scared off by the money that was given to the charitable trust. They said they would not sell the stock before the end of the year. So I, I guess we have to hold them to that. But this does not bother me. I still think the stock's going higher. Anyone else? Multiples high. You can't deny that. But when you've got the kind of growth they've got, Scott, I think that can move the stock higher. And Bridget, this is an amazing company, an amazing stock, one that's just become public recently. Do you see that GoPro can keep up this winning streak and have a big holiday season? That's what a lot of investors and consumers are expecting. I think action cameras are going to be really big this holiday season, especially GoPro. It's the apple of all action cameras. I mean, it's becoming a household name when you think of one. And they've also come out with new models, cheaper models, ones that start at $130. So it's getting even easier now to get into this market of having a camera that you can attach to something, have a little fun with, and it's easy to upload it on YouTube. So as you can see, huge excitement. Um, the stock was going to keep going higher um, as this one guy said it's a great company great growth and now and at that time okay at that time of course I was I heard about GoPro and all of that uh, technology geniuses uh, that said to buy it and you know if you just step back for a second and 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 ask yourself questions like is this a good business okay take yourself out forget about the growth forget about the hype and think about is this a good business so some of the things they uh, I asked myself at the time was you know okay you know it's a it's a nice cool looking camera um, will will a, a business or a camera like this will it have a lot of competition of course it will have a lot of competition you know 
all these electronic companies, Apple, Google, whatever, uh, Samsung, of course, they're going to come up with with a lot of um, uh, products that will be competing. But, you know, people didn't want to listen to this. This was going to be, it, it was a technology company, it, you know, um, no one's going to compete with them. The growth is fantastic, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I knew competition was going to come in. Now, did, did this business have any barriers of entry? No, absolutely not. Zero. Um, did 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 it have any switching costs when when people bought the camera? Were they like locked in or had a hard time switching? No, they could they, they could have just bought a different camera, no problem. Um, did it have any network effect? Like you know, like when I was talking about Copart, and as more people use something, uh, you know, others want to join and, and offer the product. No, it, it didn't matter. It was just cam. All it was, did it have anything special? No, it was a camera on a stick. Camera on a stick that was valued at $11 billion, okay, $11 billion, and it only had uh, $1 billion of of revenues. And now let's take a look at how it worked out afterwards. So these are the uh, uh, revenues from 2015 uh, to 2019. Okay, so revenues peaked at 1.6 billion, and then since then they were on a decline, pretty much. And uh, well, on a decline, they declined to 1.1 million, and they pretty much stayed at 1.1 uh, billion dollars. Okay, now let's take a look at um, gross margin. It was at uh, almost 42% here, and then it declined to 39, declined to 32.6%, and then 30, 31.5%, and they increased in here. So now, why why did the revenues decline? I don't even have to know wh uh, exactly why. I can tell you why they declined, because competition came in, and and you know, people had more choices, okay? It's not that hard to come up with a camera on a stick, okay? There's nothing to it. And uh, margins had to come down because competition forced the margins to come down okay and then as a result of these look at the net net income it went the company went from being profitable to losing uh, almost half a billion dollars in 2016 uh, it cont continue continues to lose money continues to lose money and then you know 2019 it lost just a little bit less money and then as a result of this and not delivering the the ridiculous growth that people were predicting because they didn't um, they didn't they didn't bother to look at whether something like this was a good business or whether it was even realistic they just looked at um, the past growth like this that was presented to them in the IPO documents and they projected it to the future and you know just they were ha happy as, as they could be and as a result of that what happened to the stock price so it it peaked in 2014 then it started crashing and then it had a little bit of recovery started crashing and it's been pretty much at at this you know at this same level for the last four or five years now i don't know you know i'm sure some people are buying it here but this video is not about whether this is a good buy or not this video is about how stupidity worked out okay every stock has a business behind it okay and now people that were here and that were seeing the stock price go go up like some of the technology companies today they just could not stand to to miss out on this and they just rationalized to themselves that something was this was a good buy it didn't matter that there, there was going to be more competition if to them the growth was going to continue and they were going to get rich and then with this example the how long did it take for a reality to um to to set in so this is like 2014 it's uh 2015 uh it took about you know about two years for for reality to set in and for the fundamentals to catch catch up with the stock price and and that's what happens when you know you just buy things because they're popular or because uh, th there's fantastic growth without using your head on how to um, you know analyze a business whether you're getting yourself in a you know in a high probability situation so there will be more videos like this um, thank you for watching and have a good day